Hi, my name is Karen, and I am an NAC Act facilitator for this session, Northern Kentucky University. I'd like to go over a couple of pieces of information before we get started. First of all, how do I ask questions? We are going to use the Q&A button as your method of typing in questions, and you can do this at any time during the presentation. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists can't see you or hear you. We also encourage you to sign up for more sessions. Um, they continue on next week. Uh, check out the schedule at inacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash exploration. And finally, we will be recording this session and the sessions will all be available at the same website um, in the weeks to come. So now I'd like to turn it over to Jake from Northern Kentucky University. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and we'll get going. As it takes a second here. All right. So starting off here, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jake Panic. I am the admissions uh, counselor from Northern Kentucky University. That's here to talk a little bit with you about NKU and what we have to offer. I'm actually an NKU graduate myself in 2018, and I'm currently a master's student in our communications program in our College of Informatics. So let's get started here. Let's talk about uh, what this presentation is gonna look like. We'll talk about NKU as a whole, some of the in-depth information about our colleges, as well as campus life, the admissions process, and kind of what to look for and what to do next. All right, so I'm gonna go over some of my favorite little facts about NKU, just a quick list here. NKU has been named one of the best colleges by Forbes for over 10 years in a row. Actually, this was our 11th year on that list. Our student body is about 14,500 students. So I like to refer to this as the Goldilocks College. We're not too big and we're not too small. And our university is only 50 years young. So it allows us to be changing and, and constantly growing and staying young. We also have a student to faculty ratio of only 19 to one. So what that means is basically for every 19 students, we have one faculty member. So you get to know your professors really well and you're not uh, in large classrooms, you know, you get to know your classmates as well. As you can see on that bottom stat there, the average class size is only 24. So you're not walking into large lecture halls of 300 and 400 students. You get to know your classmates really well. We also have more than 80 majors across our colleges. Um, so I understand, you know, at your first, you're getting an idea of what you'd like to do for school. It can be, it can be difficult uh, figuring out what you'd like to do, but there are plenty of options that NKU has to choose from. We are also located only 10 minutes from downtown Cincinnati, depending on how fast you drive. But what gives us a nice advantage of being located close to Cincinnati is there's a lot to do as well as a lot of opportunities for work during school and after school. We are only 420 acres, the whole campus. So that means we can actually walk around the entire campus in about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, I'd like to mention that because you might be worried about getting to your classes in between, in between that time switch there, but you won't have any problem with that. NKU has also been named the 23rd safest college in America. So you're not gonna sacrifice your safety for your education. Got a little bit of trivia here for you, just a quick thing. How many of the eight Fortune 500 companies uh, that are in Cincinnati do you think you could name? I'll give you a couple seconds here and we'll move along and get those answers. So of those Five, the 500, Fortune 500 companies, Cincinnati houses, Cincinnati Greater Kentucky, excuse me, Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky area holds fifth third, P&G, 
Macy's, Kroger, Western and Southern, AK Steel, Great American, as well as Cintas. So I like to mention this because like I said before, not only do you have the opportunity to work and find internships while you're in school, these are great companies to work for after you've graduated. So I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into what NKU offers in our academic colleges. So as you can see this list here, we have seven academic schools. I'm gonna go over each of those. Our first up is our College of Arts and Sciences. So this uh, college at NKU is our largest. It houses more than 100 of our programs. It also has the largest School of the Arts program in the state of Kentucky. So that means we have the most performances as well as gallery openings out of all of the uh, colleges in Kentucky. So you get that opportunity as a student to be part of those. Um, the nice thing I also like to mention is if you're interested in being a part of a play or a musical, you don't just have to be a theater student or a music student. You could be a biology student, a chemistry student, anything you'd like. And you can audition as well. Also, you might be thinking it's kind of weird that there's a UK symbol on our presentation, but I'll explain that. Basically, we have a partnership with the University of Kentucky that allows you to get your medical degree from the University of Kentucky while completing your whole education as well as your clinicals here in the greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. So you don't have to leave and go to Lexington to get that degree. You can practice right at home. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the US Hale Bank College of Business. This is the college that I graduated from. This is for students that are interested in accounting, economics, marketing, uh, international business, entrepreneurship, uh, as you can see all those programs on the left side there. One of the great opportunities for our business students is our business week. What this is is one week uh, throughout your semester you get to take off your classes. You don't have to worry about going to class, but what actually happens is, is the college brings in uh, CEOs and professionals and directors from local businesses and they get to talk, uh, you know, you get to talk to them one-on-one -on -one or attend talks and, and listen to understand what it's really like to, to work in the business world after you've graduated. The Hale US Bank College of Business is also home to our incubator program. So what this is, is if you're familiar with the show Shark Tank, it's our own version of that. Basically, as a student, if you have a business idea, you can bring it to this panel and they will actually help you set up your business. They will help you with funding. They'll help you with finding employees for your company. And you can do all this before you've even graduated. Um, you can have your own business off the ground and up and running before you even get your degree, which is a great opportunity. And I also like to highlight on the right side there, you'll see one of our, our students, Isaiah. He actually created Smooth Creations, which is actually a custom shoe design company where he's had a lot of success. And he, he started that even before he graduated. I'm going to talk a little bit about our College of Informatics, the one that I'm currently in where there are programs that range anywhere from communication studies, data science, public relations, electronic media and broadcasting, and our newest program, cybersecurity. We're also the number one top ranked uh, in Kentucky uh, University with the most computer science degrees awarded to women. The College of Informatics is also home to our student-run newspaper, The Northerner. What's nice about this program is that you as the student have the opportunity to write, edit, and print the articles that are all part of this newspaper. So you really get that hands-on experience. We've also been ranked 16th in the top rated, 16th rated data science program in the entire nation. First, for students who are interested in becoming a teacher or teaching in some sort of fashion, we have our College of Education, which offers programs on from early childhood all the way up through secondary education and including special education. So what a great opportunity that we offer our College of Education students is we offer placement and certification in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. So you can earn your degree as a teacher and be ready to teach in any of those states. We also offer classroom observations during your first year. So basically how this works is as an education student, if you're looking to teach, you start out your first semester by sitting in on a classroom of, say you decided to sit in on some kindergarten students. 
you sit in the classroom for a day to really get an idea of what it's like in the day of a kindergartner teacher. So say you sit in that classroom and you think, wow, I couldn't drink enough coffee in the world to deal with all these kindergartners. And you wanna change that, that's okay. You're not gonna be put behind in your classes if you decide to change uh, your track. You know, you get to figure out right away what you wanna do and get on. We've got our College of Health and Human Services, which houses our programs like our nursing program, our social work, our kinesiology, counseling, and rehabilitative services. This program is located in our new building on campus, the Health Innovation Center, which opened in 2018. The really neat thing about this building on our campus is it houses all of our simulation rooms. Basically what these are, are rooms similar to rooms that you would find in a hospital uh, that have all sorts of simulation equipment and basically they have robots that would simulate anything from a little kid with a cold all the way up through somebody who is full-term pregnancy. So you get that real good hands-on knowledge there. Not only do you have that, on top of that, your clinicals start your first semester in the program. So you're already out in the field and learning right away. NKU is also home to the Salmon P. Chase College of Law. So this is great for students that are looking to get their degree in law. This has a couple of our law programs, and specifically we like to highlight our 3 plus 3 program. What this program is, 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 is a track that allows you to get your undergraduate degree as well as your graduate degree in law in six years instead of the regular seven. So you're saving that money by not staying that extra year and you're getting out and working even earlier. We also have our Honors College. So our Honors College is a little bit different from the other, the previous ones I talked about. You can be a part of the Honors College if you are any major. It's basically for students who are looking for a more in-depth learning experience that is more based around experience as opposed to testing and things like that. So there's a lot of education abroad opportunities, research opportunities, workshops, um, and you get to really dive in deep on specific subjects with a smaller group of people um, if you're looking for that in-depth, more experiential experience in your college courses. It's also home to The Flame, which is our student-produced magazine. So similar to The Northerner, it's our magazine that all of, our, that all of the students have a hand in writing and editing all of the articles. So I've talked a little bit about the academic side. Let's talk a little bit about what it's like living on NKU's campus. So we offer different types of residence halls and living learning communities. I'll talk a little bit about the um, residence hall options in the next slide, but what our living learning communities are, are certain blocks of residence um, areas that are that house students that are in similar majors to you or the same major so you can you know work together you'll see them in class you'll see them in, in your residence hall you get to know your your major friends uh, really well so first up with our housing styles as you can see here on the top right this is our traditional dorm or our traditional residence hall style it's got your two beds desks and some dressers. You share that with one roommate and then you share a um, shared hallway bathroom. On the top left here we've got a more of a suite style and you can see that you have each your own space with a door and then you share one restroom with one other person and then these two share this one here and then there's one shared living space. Down on the bottom these both are similar to the suite style, just a little bit of a different setup. In this one, you share one room with one other person and then one restroom in the living area with everybody. And then this one, kind of the same, just more of an open concept. And those range anywhere from 8,200 to 12,070 per year. That includes the meal plan as well. Got a little bit more trivia for you coming up here. So this game is two truths and one lie. There'll be three statements on the screen that one of them is a lie and two of them are true. So I'll give you a couple seconds on this one and I'll get into that. All right, we'll start off with that first one. 
all laundry on campus is definitely free. So all you have to do is maybe bring some Tide and your dirty clothes and you have access to the laundry rooms on campus, absolutely free. The next one here, also true. Zac Efron was paid to kill somebody on our campus and I'll talk about that in a minute here. And also, the one that was the lie was that Victor E. Viking was our first and only mascot. I'll explain a little bit later as well. So, in reference to the Zac Efron uh, truth, the film Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile was filmed on our campus, as you can see in the, in the top corner here. In one of the scenes, they forgot to edit our logo out. And not only do we like to mention this because it's NKU's cool little claim to Hollywood fame, but really more importantly, this gave our students an opportunity to work on something uh, in, on a bigger scale and really see that their work uh, you know, really pays off. So some of our theater students have been able to be extras in the film. Uh, and some of our informatics students actually got to work behind the scenes uh, on the, the production of the film. So it's a great opportunity for students to get that real world, nice, awesome experience. And then, oh, as you can see here, Victor E. Viking was not our first mascot. So our first mascot over on the left there was Hey You. As you could see, his uh, jersey was getting a little bit too small, so we had to make a little bit of a change up. But now we've had Victor E. Viking ever since. So at NKU, we have 22 Greek life organizations, more than 250 student organizations. Uh, I like to highlight a few of those because there's just a wide range of things that you can find your spot on campus. So we have, we had a bass fishing club. We've got esports. We've got uh, intramural sports, we've got club sports, really anything you can think of. And the nice thing about more than all of, so we have all of those organizations and if you can't find one that fits you best, students are encouraged to create their own. You just get some friends together and I think there's a small startup fee and you can create your own club. I think most recently we had a, a group of students create a Chipotle club where they just got together and ate some Chipotle, but they did it and they created a group and they did it monthly and they got to know each other really well. It's a nice opportunity. We also have 17 NCAA Division I sports, including our men's basketball, we've got our women's basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, really anything you can think of, we've got it. And a nice opportunity for our students as an NKU student, you get into these home games for free. You just wipe your, swipe your student ID card and you're in. It's a great, great opportunity there. We have departments and, and offices on campus that are staffed by our professional staff, and they're here specifically to help you succeed during your college career as well as after. A couple of them that I like to highlight, we've got our career services office. What they do is they'll help you build your resume, they can help you edit your resume, they can help you find a job, they also hold job fairs each year where they bring in hundreds of businesses that are looking to hire our NKU students. So you get to, you know, talk to these people that are, that are ready to talk about, you know, job opportunities and, and potentially give you an interview. So it's a great, great opportunity for our students there. I also like to mention Learning Plus. What this is, is free tutoring, 100% free. You know, if you're struggling with a course and you need some extra help, you can go to this and how it works is you work with a student who has previously received an A in that course. They help you and tutor you however you, you need help. And the nice thing is, is say you get so good at that course, you get an A in that class, you can become a tutor. So it's a nice opportunity for student employment while you're working on your degree. Another thing I like to talk about is our North Advising Center. So I mentioned earlier on that I know it can be difficult trying to figure out what it is you want to do when you get to school or before you get to school or what you want to do at all. The North Advising Center is there to help you with that. They can help you with understanding what you'd like to do after you graduate and kind of help you build your path from there. So it's great, great offices on our campus for you. 
We also have six departments in our Center for Student Inclusiveness. These departments are here on campus to help you find where you feel at home and make sure you know you're at home here on NKU's campus. We have our African American Student Initiatives Office, our Disability Programs and Services, our Latino Programs and Services, our LGBTQ Programs and Services, as well as Norse Violence Prevention and Parents Attending College. We are also the number 10 most accessible campus in the United States. So whether you're in a wheelchair, you can get around on campus, or say you trip and break your ankle playing intramural soccer and you need to be on crutches for a on campus just fine. NKU actually has the largest campus rec center in the state of Kentucky. We have five basketball courts, a giant swimming pool like with the lap lanes and everything. We have a diving well with a rock wall that you can climb up on the rock wall and dive into the diving well. A lot of fun. We also have a track. We've got free weight equipment. We've got cardio equipment. Anything you can think of, it's there. And as an NKU student, you swipe your ID card and you're in. It's perfect. And like I mentioned earlier in the slides, uh, we're only 10 minutes away from downtown Cincinnati. So, you know, you're in class some of the day, you work on your homework some of the day, but what are you gonna do outside of that? Great stuff to do on campus, like our clubs, but it's also awesome to check out the local area. The greater Cincinnati area has three professional sports teams. We've got the Reds, we have the Bengals, and FC Cincinnati. We also have a semi-professional hockey team, one of my personal favorites, uh, that you can go check out. Uh, the nice thing is that these uh, clubs and teams, they host NKU student nights where you can potentially get a discounted ticket on um, you know, an event and go with your friends. We also have more than 3,000 local restaurants. You could go to one restaurant a day during your college career and not hit all of them. So if you love food, you know you're in for a treat down, down over here. So I understand too, going to college, you're balling on a budget. I was there, I get it. So taking advantage of some of the awesome free things that we have around the Cincinnati area, like all of our parks and our bike trails, you can get out there and enjoy the outdoors and not worry about spending that money. And I get it, I, I'm, I'm with you. So we also have a, a world ranked zoo at the Cincinnati Zoo. You can go see Fiona, I'm sure you've heard about her. We've also got the aquarium where you can see the penguins and all the cool fish. But these are all in our general area and you can get to a lot of these within, you know, the aquarium, five minutes, at the zoo, 10 minutes. And you know, there's parks within a 30 minute radius that you can get to. So I've talked about all of those things about you know, what NKU has to offer and now how do you, how do you get it, I, right? So it's a really, really easy process. So you can apply online via our app on our website at nku.edu forward slash apply. That has our admissions application. We're also on the Common app. So if you're filling out your applications for other schools, throw us on there. It's, it makes it a lot easier when you're applying for multiple schools to use the Common app. So then you pay the $40 application fee. Once you've submitted your application, paid the fee, we'll make sure you get your high school transcripts sent to us. And if you've taken any dual credit courses from any other college, make sure you send those transcripts as well um, to make sure you get credit for those courses that you took. And also submit your ACT or SAT scores if necessary. So new this year, we're excited to announce that NKU is officially test optional. So if you have a 2.75 or above unweighted high school GPA, we are no longer requiring standardized test scores like the ACT or SAT. Um, some majors still require test scores like nursing, respiratory care, radiation therapy, radiological technology. So if you have more questions about the test optional policy and as far as majors go, check out the link at the bottom of the screen and there's more helpful information about specific majors and in-depth information about the test optional policy. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about tuition rates. Since this is the Indiana Fair, uh, we have some information about the out-of-state residents. The, the out-of-state tuition is 19,872 for the year. Now you can see down here, 
at the very bottom last one, some Indiana counties, specifically Dearborn, Franklin, Jefferson, Ohio, Ripley, Switzerland, you are eligible for the in-state uh, rate. Uh, it's not because we like those counties any more than the others. We love all of Indiana. Uh, we just have an agreement with those counties and the state because we're the closest four-year institution. We're able to offer that for those students, but not to worry because even though you're considered out of state, if you're not those counties, uh, if you graduate from high school with a 2.5 unweighted GPA or above, you will automatically qualify for the EDGE Award. And what this is, is it's a scholarship that is effectively about $9,000 um, off of your tuition. So what that does is it takes this out-of-state rate and brings it down to this in-state rate here. So up next here, on October 1st, so it has passed, but it's, it's, it's ready to go, go and make sure you apply for the FAFSA. Super important. It's first come, first serve. And when you apply for that, uh, that's your best way to make sure you get loans and grants you need for college. 77% of NKU students receive some sort of financial assistance. And a little important note down there, as you can see, the NKU FAFSA code is on the presentation here. If you need to take a screenshot of it, it's also on our website. So um, if you need access to that while you're filling out your FAFSA, you can reference our website or take a screenshot here and definitely make sure you get that done. Another little trivia coming up here. So if you had to guess how many millions of dollars are given away to freshmen and continuing education scholarships uh, every, every year? I'll give you a couple of seconds here. All right, I'm gonna move along and actually Victor is gonna tell you a little bit about this. All right, so I am sure that you enjoyed listening to Victor yodel up the mountain, but yeah, that's right. $21 million are given away in scholarships to our students. Um, and actually, six million of that is specifically set aside for first-time freshmen. So there's a lot of scholarship opportunities, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about next year. So starting out, we have our merit-based scholarships, which are based on GPA. And we have what we like to call apply for scholarships. So what these are is, is a separate scholarship application. Basically, it's a short form with a couple essays that you write. And those put you in consideration for all of our apply for, apply for scholarships. Um, that scholarship uh, application deadline is February 15th. So if you apply before for the scholarships before February 15th, you will be considered for those scholarships. We like to say that, you know, 40 minutes of writing a few essays could potentially award you four years of your tuition. So it absolutely does not hurt to apply for scholarships. Um, this application is free to complete. So definitely, definitely fill that out. So next year, got some important dates to look at on this slide here. July 15th, so our application is open. We are on our own website as well as the Common App, so make sure you go in and apply. October 1st, just a few weeks ago, the FAFSA opened, so make sure you apply for that. First come, first serve, and get that money. January 15th is our honors priority deadline, so I talked about our honors college a little bit earlier in the presentation. Uh, if you would like to, if you have more interest in the honors college, definitely fill out that application. February 15th, like I mentioned in the previous slide, is the scholarship application deadline. So have that submitted before then. And then April 15th is the honors application deadline. So if you don't apply for honors before January 15th, you can still apply after that. It just depends on program space availability. And then May 1st there, that is the housing application deadline as well as the national confirmation deadline to confirm your enrollment to NKU. On here, we've got some links here for you to follow if you'd like to check us out 
on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We update our students with important information and just keep you in the loop on those. So thank you so much for uh, watching my presentation today and, and uh, Norse up. Thank you, Jake, for the presentation from Northern Kentucky. A couple of things to go over here at the end. So students, there is a quick survey for questions that will appear. Please sign up for more sessions at nacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash exploration. And the recordings will be available on the same website. Thank you very much. <laughs>